Hello there! Welcome again to another video of our e-learning series in campus journalism. Today, we are going to discuss science and health writing. But before moving on with our lesson, let me give you first the definition of the terms that might give you trouble in understanding this topic. Let's start first with science. In our academic knowledge, Science is a systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in a form of explanation and predictions about nature and the universe. While technology is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes. Now, the next question is what is health science? Health science, on the other hand, is the discipline of applied science which deals with human and animal health. Now therefore, when we're talking about science writing, it is a writing about scientific subject matter for audience of non-scientists. And when we are writing science writing, of course, we are producing science news which is basically news about science. Now the next question is, where can you get science news? So we have different mediums or different ways on how to get science news. We have school events, science fairs, local health offices, environment, or even in the community. Now science page, if we're talking about the whole paper or the school paper, it actually consists of four for science page. We have the science editorial, science news, science feature, and the science opinion or column. Now, in order for you to write an effective and efficient science and health writing, let me give you the tips for science writing. First is avoid overuse of parentheses. Only use parentheses to make an extra remark every once in a while. Number two is uppercase letters. There are few rules to follow when using capital letters. Titles and subheadings of articles, titles of books and journals, and names of institutional departments should begin with a capital letter. Third is importance of hyphenation. If you aren't a fan of hyphens, you might want to train yourself to like them. Not placing hyphens correctly in your sentences can take the meaning out of the text or the context and frankly, you want your readers to understand what you write. For example, two-year-old boy versus two-years-old boy. Which do you think is more effective? And Another tips for writing science is or science writing is injecting opinion. For science writing, remember that the focus is on writing about a technical topic. Writing can be creative but that doesn't mean that it has to be opinionated unless it is an opinion editorial. The writer's personal viewpoints aren't relevant to the discussion. Only reports what the sources have mentioned. Airing your views can diminish the credibility of your article. Another one is maintain clarity. Have you ever written a lengthy sentences only to read it again? Not fully comprehending what you just wrote? The moment you catch the happening, you have to fix it immediately. You are lost or if you are lost in your own sentences, there is no way you can expect a reader to understand it. When you come across this hurdle, it is best to start afresh and rewrite the sentences or break it apart and replace it with two shorter sentences. Another one is use abbreviations. The elements of grammar for writers, a detailed book on writing style highlighted that Abbreviations are convenient and efficient if they cut down on extra words. When it comes to science writing, we should abbrevi abbreviate long phrases because scientific terms 
and the name of companies and institutions usually come in chunky phrases, the kind we want to avoid repeating throughout the article. Another is revise and rewrite. Revising is part of the writing. Rereading and editing your work does not indicate that you are a poor writer. William Schrunk and E.B. White, the authors of The Elements of Style, said in their book, Quite often, the writer will discover on examining the completed work that there are serious flaws in the arrangement of the material, calling for transpositions. It doesn't matter if your work needs editing, shortening, or rearranging. What matters is you fixed it like all the best writers do. And that's the end of the tips in science writing. Now, let me just give you the other points to consider in science writing. First, you need to choose an updated topic. There's a lot of topic right now. Specifically, coronavirus right now really affecting a lot of lives or a lot of houses, companies, business, schools. Maybe this is the recent topic that we could have. Second is get familiar with your topic. You cannot give what you don't have as I always tell in this discussion. Check your facts. Do not exaggerate your story or overuse them, terms or overuse them. And lastly, always acknowledge your sources or references. This is very important because you need to give credits to the person who gave that sources. All right. Now, when writing a science news headline, you should be accurate. That is the very first thing that you should do. The second is you have to keep it short as much as possible. Use active voice and in present tense. Should be appropriate to your story. The title should always be appropriate to your story. And you have to know where to capitalize. Alright? Now, when writing also a feature title, that should be catchy. Right? Second, it should be unique. You also invoke urgency. And you always make the unbelievable a reality. And promise a solution to a problem. Example, tasting the past, the science of flavor, and the search for the origins of wine. She has her mother's laughed. How to prevent diabetes. Those are just examples. But you can still, I know that with your creativity, you can do more, you can give more, and you can do better. And the next question and the last one is how to end your story. First, it should be, or you should, you can use rather, a relevant quote. You can also end with a good fact that provokes thought. Or you can actually pose a question like, health is wealth? Now, you should still take the risk. Those are the things that you can include in your write-up. So that's the end of our discussion for science and health writing. It's just so quick and it's just so easy for as long as you know your topic and you know you have the facts on your hand, you can write it just like a feature story. But remember that in science and health writing, you are writing for non-scientists meaning those who hate science terminologies and in technology and health or whatsoever you need to give the menu in which they would understand all right so thank you for listening to our e-learning series under science and health writing see you again on my next video